Hey, what's happening? Where's that fish going? Okay, I'm gonna pretend I didn't see that. Sea cucumbers breathe by sucking water into their rectums and extracting oxygen using special organs. We usually call them butt lungs. Another creature uses this to its advantage. Pearlfish swim right into the sea cucumbers' bums and they aren't afraid or worried. But does it hurt either of them? And what happens if a hungry pearlfish tries to eat its host? It can be hard to find shelter at the bottom of the sea, and many small animals find unusual ways to be safe. It looks like pearlfish have found a creative solution. They're slender, eel-like fish with translucent bodies that grow to 15 centimeters long. They enter sea cucumbers' butts at will, but they leave at night to hunt for food. This prevents larger predators from attacking and eating the pearlfish. But they won't swim into just any sea cucumber. The fish are fussy about their choice of accommodation. A pearlfish identifies a good cucumber butt by its smell. Then the fish finds the right end of the sea cucumber to enter. It can be tricky because the mouth and anus look very similar. Remember that sea cucumbers breathe through their butts? Pearlfish have sensory organs that can detect this water flow and find the right way into the host. The fish uses its tail to swim furiously into the sea cucumber, entering headfirst. Usually, there is only one pearlfish in each sea cucumber. Often, it'll try to kill rivals who want to enter the same host. But there have been rare occasions when more than one fish has been inside. A diver named Victor Benno caught a sea cucumber and 14 pearlfish exited its butt. We aren't sure why this happens, but it's possible that there weren't enough sea cucumbers, or it could have been there to breed. Imagine 14 pearlfish inside one sea cucumber. That must have been a pretty wild party. But the inside of a sea cucumber isn't a hospitable place. It's highly toxic. So how do pearlfish manage to survive? These tiny swimmers can survive exposure to sea cucumber toxins 45 times longer than other species. And oddly enough, pearlfish don't trigger the sea cucumber's defense mechanism. Why? Researchers aren't sure, although it may be because of the mucus that the pearlfish secrete. It's smooth and slippery, helping the fish enter their hosts. The mucus may also act as a physical barrier against the toxic chemicals. But every sea cucumber may not welcome intimate guests. Some species have a gate in their behinds that can keep pearlfish and other unwelcome invaders out. You're probably wondering, does this relationship help or harm either party? It depends on the species of pearlfish. In most cases, the relationship is commensal, meaning that one participant benefits while the other is not harmed. In this case, the pearlfish benefits from the shelter the sea cucumber provides, but the sea cucumber doesn't benefit or get hurt. But some species of pearlfish are parasites. What would they eat in a cucumber's insides? You guessed it, they chow down on the sea cucumber's breathing and reproductive organs. When that happens, the sea cucumber <clears throat> I mean, shoots the offending fish out along with the sea cucumber's chewed up organs. You might think that's traumatic for the host, but it's as cool as a cucumber. It has nothing to worry about since it easily regrows its toxic organs and intestines. That's its bizarre defense mechanism. To learn more about badass sea cucumbers, watch our episode about how they defend themselves against predators. Sly and slimy pearlfish swim inside cucumber butts for safety. And that's what makes them crazy creatures.